Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in John chapter 5, verse 19, Romans chapter 8, verse 6, and Psalms chapter 23, verse 6. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Lord God, for this word. Thank you for another day. Thank you for showing us how to navigate this life in your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, John chapter 5, verse 19. So Jesus said to them, truly, truly, I say to you, the son of man can do nothing of his own accord, but only what he sees the father doing. For whatever the father does, that the son does likewise. All right. And so this is Christ speaking about his own actions. He's giving us a roadmap for how we should be towards him and the father, right? And and Christ only did what he saw the father doing. He didn't do of his own accord. It said, so Jesus said to them, truly, truly. So whenever you see that, that um, double word wording where it says the same word twice, it is, it is not just saying um, that this is true. Right. But that it is it is it is a truth that you should pay attention to and you should take heed to It's saying truly, truly, I say to you, the son can do nothing of his own accord. So he was saying that his own will was the will of the father. They were one. Right. And so if you wanted to see the father, you had but need to look at the son. Right. Because he didn't do of his own will, of his own accord. He did the will of the father. It says, but only what he sees the father doing. So he could see in the spirit and he knew what the father was doing. He knew the move that the father was making and he replicated the moves of the father. That was his will was to do the will of the father. It says for whatever the father does, that the son does likewise. And so he was a follower of God, right? He did what he saw his father doing. His authority was what the father was doing. And so he is, you know, in essence, showing us how we should live, right? How we should, we should um, look at him. He was showing us how to navigate how to walk in this life and so how do we walk in this life we can study the life of Christ we can see what he was doing right and and it shows us how we should operate in this world all right and so the second scripture that the Lord gave me was Romans chapter 8 verse 6 for to set the mind on the flesh is death but to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace So this scripture is basically saying the same thing. You know, we need to be looking up if we want to figure out how to navigate this world, how to interact with one another, how to love, how to live. We need to take our minds off of our flesh, take our minds off of the things that are around us, but to look up. Amen. So we need to look up and see what the father God is doing. It says for to set the mind on the flesh is death. So those things that are around us, those things that drive us, those things that are causing us to um, decide to do what we want to do in our own flesh. Um, If we keep our mindset on the things that are of God, then we have life and we have peace. That is to keep our mindset on the spirit. And so as we are navigating through this life, the one thing that we need to do is to keep our eyes on what the spirit of the Lord is doing. We know that the spirit searches out the deeper things of God. And so he knows the will of the father. It is the spirit of God reiterate what we were saying before the in order to follow the father god has given us a a method um to stay close to him and that is through his spirit his spirit helps us to navigate um this world 
and 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 accomplish his will right uh, specifically for our lives and so in order to do that we have to keep our minds set on the spirit um asking holy spirit what to do next asking holy spirit what the next move is um and as we do that we're going to experience that life and peace that comes from following holy spirit because remember if we're following holy spirit we are following the will of the father all right just as christ was following the will of the father all right and so the third scripture that the lord gave me was psalms chapter 23 verse 6 surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and i shall dwell in the house of the lord forever all right and so we know that this is the 23rd psalm um and it's talking about having a shepherd right? Um, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. So we know that um, it's all about the leading. It's all about being guided in the same way that the Holy Spirit is constantly leading us and guiding us into all truth. All right. And so it says, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. So not only is God leading and guiding us through the Holy Spirit, he's actually acting as our rear guard as well. Right. We know that um, here it is saying goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Why? Because I am being led by the shepherd. And so if the shepherd is leading, he's causing us to walk in a certain way and in a certain path. And then not only are we going to be led um, by the spirit, we're experiencing this life. We're experiencing this peace and we are being followed by goodness and mercy right? It says surely goodness and mercy. So we are just completely surrounded, right? We have our mindset on life and peace. And then to follow us as we're leading, as we're being led by the spirit, we have this, this goodness and this mercy following us all the days of our life, not just part of our days, not just, you know, some of the time, um, but all of our day, all the days of our life. And it says, I shall dwell in the house of the Lord. So to be led by the spirit is to dwell in the house of God, to have that covering, to be, to be sheltered by the most high God. Right. And so God is wanting us to walk in this, this place of doing the will of the father, keeping our eyes on the father being led by the father and he's done this by giving us the spirit of god right he is giving us the holy spirit it is helping us to keep our mind set in a mind that is of life and of peace right and and it's it, it is a mindset that is causing us to be followed by goodness and mercy right god has a will he has a plan for us just like christ followed um, the father of his own accord. He wants us to follow him by his spirit of our own accord. He's not going to force us. He's not going to, to be ruthless and make us do these things. These things have beautiful spiritual benefits to them. Um, and they can be understood by the spirit, but he's not going to make us to do these things. We have to decide to set our mind, right? It says for to set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace. You are choosing this way. You are choosing to follow by the Holy Spirit and, and it is going to reap beautiful blessings um, not only of life and peace, right? But it's also going to have us walking in a pathway of goodness and mercy following us all the days of our life as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That's a beautiful benefit to have. And so don't make God into, you know, uh, we talked about this uh, before uh, that I had heard in, in church that don't get the the thing twisted, right? Don't let the enemy twist a blessing around and say that it is a burden or say that it, it is, is something that it's not, 
God desires for us to have these good things and they are not a burden. We need to follow by the spirit. It is what's good for us. What's a burden is, is to be outside of the will of God, right? And, and, and to not be following after the father, because that is a way of death, right? For to set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace. And so God has a great will for us. We need to see it as a great will. And we need to walk it out. Amen. All right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for this word. Thank you for your truth and your holiness and your righteousness, Lord God. Thank you for leading and guiding us into all truth, Holy Spirit. Help us to walk in it. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, take care and be blessed.